It's now time for Martin Beri of Agbola Technologies. Where is our next speaker? Coming up. Berlin-based company. Yes, Marian. Ah, yeah. Thanks. Okay, thank you so much. My name is Matan Berry. I'm from Kvola Technologies. We are a Berlin-based uh, water startup, and we are looking to tackle the water energy nexus. What is the water energy nexus? Now, as some of you probably know, uh, treatment of water requires energy. This used to be a small amount of energy in the past decades, but recently, due to global trends uh, such as um, um, overpopulation, uh, industrialization, and uh, climate change, we see the energy consumption of water treatment increasing, um, specifically while, because we need new technologies such as seawater desalination, wastewater reuse, or zero liquid discharge. So the uh, energy footprint of water is increasing, but at the same time, the water footprint of energy um, production, generation, transformation, transportation is also increasing. So if we talk about the oil and gas industry in the 20th century, the um, oil and gas industry only produced about three barrels of water, wastewater, for every single barrel of oil. Um, at the moment, the numbers are between 8 and 12 barrels of produced water, so c contaminated wastewater for a single barrel of oil. So you kind of see uh, what, what I'm getting, getting to here. We need increasing amounts of energy to clean water. We need increasing amount of water to produce energy, and this creates a self-amplifying feedback loop that gets out of control. This is one of uh, humanity's biggest challenges in the 21st century, the so-called water energy nexus, and we believe that only the products, services, and business models that can produce more energy with less water or wo more water with less energy um, can solve these problems. And this is exactly what we do at Aqvola Technologies. We've developed a new water treatment process which can heavily reduce energy uh, consumption of several water treatment uh, applications, such as desalination, but at the same time can also reduce the water footprint of the oil and gas industry. This technology uh, was developed at the Technical University of Berlin after several years of R&D. It is based on a mixture of two separation processes, flotation and filtration, using ceramic membranes. And the nice thing about it is, as I said, lower energy consumption, lower OPEX, low CO2 emissions, and uh, low footprint. So um, two possible applications and their potential impacts in the oil and gas industry. We can save the user up to 4 million euros per uh, hydraulic fracturing uh, well. And in seawater desalination, for example, if we take the seawater desalination plant in Barcelona, we can save up to 27 million euros um, over the life cycle of the plant. Um, the different markets that we have in mind, not only oil and gas and desalination, basically everywhere where you have suspended solids, fats, oil, grease in the water, um, these are the markets that are applicable to us. Um, several billion euros uh, per year and uh, strongly growing. Um, some positioning uh, compared to other innovative technologies out there. Um, we consider ourselves the only technology can, that can offer both low OPEX and high waste recovery. Um, the go-to-market strategy and our revenue module, so um, we split this into two stages. The first stage is technology scale-up and market traction, so our technology is now on a pilot level uh, scale. We will scale it up this year and the following year um, to a commercial scale, um, creating revenues by consulting, pilot testing, and pilot plant sales. And the final goal is to reach stage two in 2017, where we actually commercially scale up um, the business and expand into new markets, and we will do that by uh, working with engineering companies and actually licensing the technology or selling just the components. Yeah, current status, so we have um, several years of R&D behind us. We've done lab-scale testing with the oil and gas industry. We've done lab-scale testing and pilot trials uh, with desalination applications, with industrial wastewater applications. We have um, current revenues from very known clients. Um, we're looking to hit uh, break-even in 2017, and I'm kind of running out of time here. So um, basically what we need is a total of 1.7 million euros to complete our business plan. The good news is that we've already collected about 700,000. Uh, about 200,000 came from us, the founders, um, and a government grant, and about 500,000 came from the HDGF. And we're still looking for 1 million. 
Um, a few words about our team. It's very international, very diverse. Um, perhaps just uh, one uh, nice new new person on the team that we've recruited recently, our VP of Sales, uh, Mr. Carlos Crespo, who's worked uh, 10 years in GE Water, heading uh, sales and business development in Southern Europe. Thank you so much. Right on. Great, one million. Yeah. And then um, how much revenue do you expect this year, more or less? About 200, 250,000. Yeah. yeah, cool. Okay, water technology, using less energy. Thank That's what so we much. need. <laughs> Thanks.